Hey, good morning and welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I hooked up my old Raspberry Pi 3B model to my ICOM 7610. I updated the software, started WSJTX, and by gosh it works. Okay, I've got a few videos out there and a couple of articles on my website, www.k0pir.us, on the Raspberry Pi 3 and ICOM 7300, but I haven't hooked it up to my 7610 until just today. I connected my Raspberry Pi and updated the software. I did the uh, app get update, ran it. And then I did the app get distribution update, ran it. And as soon as that was complete, I was able to start up WSJTX. And if you want more information on this, go to my website, take a look at those articles, and it shows you the USB cable that I'm using and how to connect it to the radio. I got this message here. It's the latest version. I went into File and Settings. Took a look at the radio. Changed it to the 7610. The serial port that was already in there because I was using the 7300. Baud rate was already set. On the mode I'm using Data Packet and uh, Split Operation using Fake It. I hit the test cat, that worked, hit test push to talk, and that worked. Went over to the audio tab, made sure my sound card was set up right. And that was pretty much it. Clicked OK and I got, uh, got my waterfall, my wide graph up here. Started seeing some band activity. I can use the drop down to change bands. I set the mode to FT8. I'm going to get over here on a clear frequency and hit the tune button. And I'm putting out about 20 watts. So it's ready to go. All I got to do is make a contact. I'm going to go over here to clear frequency and call CQ. Okay, I'm putting out about 20 watts. I've got my radio set up for digital mode. It's on USB D1 on the 7610. I've got my noise reduction, noise blanker turned off. My AGC is set to fast. I don't have it turned off. I don't have a auto notch filter on. Nothing, nothing on like that. The uh, bandwidth is set to 3.6. Here, I got a contact. I didn't hold my uh, I didn't click on hold my transmit frequency but I'm going to go ahead and do that he's way over here and he's got a plus 12 Okay, I got my first contact on the ICOM 7610 in the FT8 mode using WSJTX. 
I change the power in there to 20. Everything else looks good. I'll click OK and it logs the WSJTX. Well, I'm going to move over just a little bit and call CQ again. I got my old Raspberry Pi 3 out. I've been thinking about getting the later model, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus version. It doesn't increase the memory any, but I've seen a couple of YouTube videos. It looks like the newer model uh, is a little bit faster, so I was considering yeah, but this one seems to work well. I use it on the 7300. And there's no reason why it shouldn't work on the 7610. Oh. Got a couple other people calling me here. Or one other one. Okay, well, I got it. And I got the got the contact. Everything looks good in here. Click OK. Well, it looked like somebody moved right there on top of me. Or maybe he's calling me. Yeah. Oh boy, I got two of them. Okay, well, he sent me a signal report. Five station in there. I got a minus 11 from him. All right, there we go. See if I can get that four station. If you're new to using WSJTX, I've got a couple of articles on my website, a few videos out there. You can take a look at it, but it's an easy program to operate, especially with FT8, because of the auto sequencing. If you have that checked, uh, boy, it is just, it's so easy. And you can make a lot of contacts really quick. And I found I don't have to use very much power. I typically run about 20 watts uh, on this antenna. I've got a 8040 double bazooka up, and it's, it's not very high. 
on 20 meters I've got a two element tri-bander and I can run five or ten watts on it to make contacts but then again depending on the band conditions now I'll run about 20 watts and if I if I see a DX station out there and I really want to make a contact I'll uh, bump it up to 40 but I, I don't think I've ever gone above 40 watts I'm getting good signal reports. I'm getting uh, about minus 12 up to minus 6. Click OK. Enable transmit again. I wonder if that's Sue. KE5 SUE. Okay, there's somebody else, another five station. Oh boy, the 7610 is working really good. 7300 worked great with this setup. The Raspberry Pi 3 and WSJTX. I don't really see any difference. Okay, I got a 73 from him. Okay, well, I'm going to cut it here. And uh, thanks for watching. Please, uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up below or the like button. And please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't tried this program, it's a nifty little, little program and uh, definitely a popular mode. Uh, lots of people are using it. Got somebody else calling me. Definitely a popular mode, so have a look at it. Thanks for watching. 73 and good DX.